Hello, I'm Mark Kepp with CampgroundViews.com. Welcome to the easternmost point in the United States at the Quota Head Lighthouse in Maine. We've got a great episode for you today. We're going to give you four ideas, tips, on what to do if you come to Acadia National Park. The first tip is how to explore the park for free. The great thing about Acadia are the majestic shorelines, abundant sea life, and interior lakes. All those are connected by hundreds of miles of hiking trails. But to get to those trails, do you have to drive in a park? There's not abundant parking. That's where the free bus line comes in. With miles of roads and routes that go through the park, you can access most any of the major sites from the bus that is free. Park in the main visitor center, there's access for RVs and your vehicle. Hop on the free bus and go for a ride through the park road. It's a great way to see the park without having to worry about running over deer, people, or off the side of a cliff. Our first stop at Sand Beach allowed us to play in the sand and enjoy the late summer weather. For the more adventurous, this point also allows you access to the dangerous hiking trail up the face of the cliff. For us, we took the easier path along the ocean. Easier, but just as scenic. The views are amazing in Acadia, and that's what draws people here all the time. Back on the bus, we headed up to Bar Harbor and crossed the sandbar over to the island. This is a great destination for the whole family because even if you don't make the island, there's sea life that you can see right there. Acadia is about the trails and exploring the different areas. Which brings us to tip three, hike the trails of Acadia. On this particular hike, we headed up to the top of the peak to an old fire tower. We'd hoped to get up to the top of the fire tower and see a view 100 feet above the ground, but it was closed and we had to just take in the view from the base. One point you can access via the free shuttle, but is a great place to hike is Cadillac Mountain. The highest point in the park on clear days you can see for hundreds of miles around. Any stop in Maine is not complete without some lobster. We decided to try some lobster and head down to the store to take a look. We felt they were too cute and decided we would do our part to help nature by releasing one back into the wild. Tip three is taking your bike to Acadia National Park. Arguably the most accessible park by bike, the carriage roads originally developed by the Rockefellers allow you access to 45 miles of backcountry views, sites, and areas that you could only reach by foot. If you don't want to ride a bike, you can also take a horse-drawn carriage ride and see the historic gatehouses and other majestic sites. Just a lot of fun. Tip four, planning your trip to Acadia. If you can be there in September, early September, the U.S. Coast Guard on one day opens up the historic lighthouses that they operate for touring. We drove all the way out to the easternmost point in the U.S. at Quota Head Lighthouse. You can tour the park, tour the area, and go up in the red and white striped lighthouse. This lighthouse overlooks the Bay of Fundy, the southern end of it, which is the bay with the highest tide swings between low and high. It's a historic point and it'd be a good reason to plan a late summer trip to this area of Maine. Thank you Acadia for the wonderful time and if you have a chance, check it out. Go to campgroundviews.com to plan your trip. This is Mark Kep. Thank you and goodbye.